What I'm going to show you guys today is the Buon Vino Super Automatic Bottle Filler. Now the way this guy works, here is the base of it. This rubber piece here is adjustable up and down so you can adjust the uh, level of the wine in your bottle. It fills right to the base of the filler. There's also a little set screw over here and what this adjusts is the filling rate of the wine. So we're going to insert that into a bottle and then the hose that comes over the top is an overflow hose so we're just going to stick that into another bottle and the only thing you got to do to operate it is you push it down to fill when the wine reaches the base of the filler it should automatically shut off if it doesn't automatically shut off then you can just manually pull it up but you do want to make sure before you pull it out of your bottle that it's in the up position or you're going to dump wine all over the floor so to prime this we're going to push it down and then we're, what, we're borrow, or what we're bottling today is uh, some homemade strawberry wine that I made from strawberries that I grew in my backyard so we're going to get this baby primed there we go as you can see the line's coming down and we're filling our first bottle And then as soon as it reaches the base of that filler, it should automatically click off, see? Now what I'm going to do is uh, probably adjust that a little bit to get, so it comes up in the neck of my bottle just a little bit further. Let's try that. There we go, that's, that's, that's about where I want it. So we're clicked up. Just go to the next bottle and start filling. And it's just that simple. I bought mine from Northern Brewer. I don't remember what I paid for it. It's in their catalog, but uh, just for doing, uh, you know, one or two batches of wine every now and then, it's not. It's a pretty good filler. I don't. I don't think I do enough wine yet to need uh, anything that I can fill five or six bottles with at a time. But this will do the trick. So there you go. It's the here's the instruction sheet for it. It's the Buon Vino Super Automatic Bottle Filler. So again, it's available at most of your homebrew supply stores or winemaking stores. So. There you go. That's how it works. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it just fills bottles. It's nothing too exciting, but as far as the quality of it <clears throat> and uh, its functionality, I've probably bottled, uh, I don't know, 20 or so batches of wine with it, and I haven't had any issues other than just needing to adjust that uh, rubber stopper on the base every now and then to make sure it's in the right spot. So I'm happy with it. Hope this video helps you, and uh, happy winemaking. I also wanted to show you today the Italian floor corker. I upgraded to this a few years ago, and I absolutely love it. It makes corking really simple. The other advantage to it is they claim you don't have to let your bottles sit upright for a day. You can go ahead and put them right on their side. I still let them sit upright for 24 hours just because I don't want to waste any wine on the floor. So, the way it works... So this brass part here, that's where your cork goes. You got a plunger right here with an arm. As you pull the arm down, it compresses the cork. And then the plunger comes down and pushes it down into the bottle. The base here has a spring on it, so you can push it down to stick a bottle in there. So take our bottle. Stick it in there, make sure the neck is lined up where it needs to be, put our cork in the top, 
and then just pull down the lever. As you can see, it's compressing the cork. The plunger is going to come down right into the bottle. So there we go, a perfectly corked bottle. This was, uh, I feel, one of the better investments I made for my home winery, the Italian Floor Corker. Again, available at most of your uh, winemaking supply stores. It was a little, uh, little bit more of an expensive piece of equipment that I purchased, but well worth the price. It's made corking a whole lot easier. I was using a double of a corker, and that thing was just a pain in the ass. So, upgrade to the list, and I love it. Hope this helps you guys maybe make a decision on whether you want to purchase this piece of equipment or not, and happy winemaking.